Piemont. Yesterday and today. Once run down, but now full of life again. Vision has become reality as Piemont is reborn. Piermont Point, on the doorstep of Sydney's central business district, is to have a $2 billion facelift. The decaying waterfront area has been an eyesore for years, but the government intends turning it into one of the city's premier suburbs. This is one of the biggest urban redevelopment projects ever undertaken anywhere in the world. You can see in Ultimo Piermont uh, the commitment uh, to what is clearly the most important urban renewal site in Australia. We hope that the city west will in fact look like uh, uh, a new city, a city that is consistent with uh, what we'd want Sydney to be like in uh, 2020. The metamorphosis of Piermont was underway. It was time for work to begin in earnest. And so the City West Development Corporation was born, a New South Wales government agency charged with responsibility for spearheading the urban renewal, its master planning, infrastructure provision and land sales. In the five years to 2000, nearly nine hectares of new parkland and open space was created inland and along the foreshore. A great achievement so close to the CBD of a major international city. From the large parks of Piermont Bay and Piermont Point to smaller pocket parks scattered across the peninsula, these green oases are enjoyed by residents, workers and visitors alike. Public housing, affordable housing, rental accommodation and prestige harbourfront living all have a place in Piermont. It's part of the mixed-use philosophy. Throughout, the signature is quality and convenience, with about 20,000 residents likely to be calling Piermont home within the next 20 years or so. And the growing population is well served by a variety of public transport, including the first stage of a light rail system that's set to head farther west. New ferry services, including a wharf at Piermont Bay and associated facilities. More buses, together with expanded networks and services, all complementing extensive pedestrian and cycle networks. As the new community grows, so too does the number of businesses providing for everyday needs and attracting visitors to the Piermont of today. There's renewed street life. A vibrant cafe scene with a cosmopolitan feel, international offerings 
and an unhurried atmosphere that makes it a pleasure to do business. Media, telecommunications and hospitality industries are among those drawing newcomers to Piermont, now gaining a reputation as a high-tech home for new, clean industry. Altogether, about 40,000 people are expected to be employed here by 2021. The rebirth is well underway. The establishment of the Sydney Media Centre at Darling Island for the Olympic Games shows the world what Sydney and the Harbour Foreshore can offer. And this is just the start. Piemont now is very much on the international agenda as a great location for business and for living. With Piemont continuing its rise to prominence, the achievements of the City West Development Corporation are being emulated by its successor, the Sydney Harbour Foreshore Authority. Piemont has been brought back to life and Sydney can lay claim to one of the world's outstanding urban renewal success stories.